I'm going to be doing a review of the CAP 2-inch Olympic weight bar. But before I do that, I want to give you a heads up on ordering problems. This is the box that they ship this in. First time I ordered this on uh, the Amazon site, UPS claims they got the package. And then the weight bar fell out of it. And then suddenly they lost the package. Amazon put in another order. And again, CAP didn't ship it, even though they claimed that they did. And UPS and Amazon went around back and forth, and finally it arrived. So how does it arrive? It arrives, this is a 27-pound bar. This is how the package arrived at my front door. This is how CAP ships this 27-pounder. So you can't really expect too much. The price is excellent. The bar is made in China and the packaging is absolutely pathetic. Who ships a 27 pound item in a box like this? So this is how it showed up at my front door. Now how does CAP protect this item while it's in shipment? They put scotch tape on the end, so 27 pounds when the box gets turned on its up, upside end or downside end, the bar comes flying out and breaks the tape. So this is how it showed up at my front door. Uh, it was an absolute nightmare to get this thing shipped to me. You can get it from Amazon. You can get it from Walmart. I don't know if you can buy it in the store because the price is so good. I bought the five-footer mainly because I don't want the weight of the six-footer, and I don't think the six-footer will fit on my weight bench. I just did a review of the Marcy weight bench that uh, I bought that will handle standard or olympic size weights. So let me show you the bar. Here's the end of the bar. The bar shows up. It comes out of the box. This Allen head screw at the end of the bar is loose and this thing is flopping all over the place. So again, more quality problems from CAP in China. You can hear the, uh, the finish on the edge. It's kind of, I don't know what you call it, it's not smooth. but it feels good. I don't, I don't know if these, uh, maybe this nut, or maybe that screw is supposed to be loose so this bar spins around a little bit. I'm not really sure. I don't know. It's got some machining over here for the grips so that you know where to put your hands and it doesn't slip. Then it is back to that finish that was on the ends. Then we have the machining again for the grip. And then we've got this side over here. That's why I'm not really sure. This side spins. So I don't know if they are supposed to spin so that the weights spin with it or maybe these uh, these end screws are just not tightened enough. So the item is reasonably priced compared to what else is out there. They sell these bars five foot at uh, Big Five. The problem is that right in the middle of them they have a thread or an opening on both sides and you knock a, a peg in there and then you hammer it together. Now I'm not going to be lifting a lot of heavy weight but I certainly wouldn't, even if it is secure and safe, I wouldn't want to have a peg sitting on inside of a bar with weight on both sides. I would not trust that at all. I'm not saying it's a bad design. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't buy it. So this is the bar. 27 pounds, 5 footer from cap. An absolute nightmare to get this thing shipped to me and then when it was shipped well, you saw the packaging. There's absolutely no excuse for that, except that they don't uh, seem to care about quality. But I did get it. It took a while. I am happy with the price. That's the only thing I can say I'm happy with the price. Um, I'm not happy that the screws on the end are loose. If somebody knows if these things, if these ends are supposed to be spinning, like this guy over here, let me know. If it's not, then I will tighten them down. I'm going to have to find a, 
I'm going to have to buy a wrench either way because I don't have a, an Allen head wrench that size. So for price, definitely a good deal. If you want a hassle-free thing, you might want to... I know if you order from Walmart online, you can get it shipped directly to the store, and that way... I don't know if the packaging is going to be any better or if it's going to be torn up, but from Amazon, like I told you, first time the box was ripped up and they lost it, and I don't believe they lost it. I believe somebody made it disappear at that point because they damaged it. And then the second time, same nightmare problem with the UPS shipping, and I don't know what UPS is doing with this uh, thing, and I don't know what uh, Cap and Amazon are doing, but for the price, it's a darn good deal. It's a five-footer. And if you need some dimensions on uh, anything, let me know. But five, five feet should be enough. Just make sure that it will fit on your bench. Some of these things won't fit. Uh, check out my other videos. I did a video on this uh, bench that I just put together here from Marcy. And my uh, small home workout station. Do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. If I saved you a nightmare or a hassle, you might want to go to my channel page and click on the support button and leave me some uh, donation appreciation if you'd like. And that's it. So do I recommend it? Yeah, for the price, you really can't beat it because the other bars out there are going for substantially more money. But uh, it's a really good deal, and that's why I kept on hassling them to say, ship the thing. Don't give me another credit or return. Just ship me one that works. So uh, that's it.